Hi, I'm Matthew. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to protect yourself against a beaten flood attack. I've made a demonstration about this attack in one of my videos, so have a look. Uh, so now the basic stuff are virtual bots, backtrack running, victim machine and adjutant. Okay, uh, I don't have any internet now. I uh, will connect using Kurve as in the previous video. Um, connected, internet's working. The usual bit. Now I'm going to disconnect from Kurve. Try to in the internet. Oops, no luck. That's how it should be. Now I'm going to perform the attack, give you some insight. The attack is being performed. I'm going to try again and connect to my network, Kurve 13. And this time I will not get a connection because there's a beacon flood attack running in the background. So it won't connect. Uh, after a while, it'll ask you for a password uh, or will give you an error that it cannot connect. So I'll wait to that moment and then I'll describe further what I found would be very useful to protect against this attack. I don't know about any uh, enterprise networks that would work there if there are lots of bridged uh, uh, wireless r routers, but maybe in a home environment or a small office environment or when you have just extension of your network just one router and you know where it is and everyone's going to use it then maybe this will be of any use so I'll demonstrate in a second oh, as you could see it's it asking for the password it couldn't connect uh, although my router is like two meters from my wireless adapter still couldn't connect uh, the attack is still underway, well, still there, I'm not stopping it, but this time I'm going to edit my connections, uh, go to wireless, select my wireless network, edit, and here is a very interesting field, BSSID, and I'm going to type in the MAC address of my, well, my address, my BSSID of my wireless router, Turve, and it's just here, that's the BS, BSSID. So I'm gonna just type it in here. So here it goes. Uh, and I'm going to apply the changes now and close. Now you should have a connection, yes. Now everything works without a big problem, even if the attack is still there. So I can disconnect again, just to prove it works. No internet, I have no connection, I connect back with Kurve. And a few seconds later, I got the connection back. As you can see, very simple, straightforward, attack still is on. So I think this is one way how to protect your network from the beacon flood attack. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you a nice, uh, good day.